Hello, and uh, welcome to game two between uh, I'm a Sock and Antlers. Uh, I'm John Tabin. Joining me on commentary is Sausage Link. Morning, Sausage Link. Morning. How are you, John? I'm well. Looking forward to this race. Um, Antlers uh, won game one. Uh, the um, yeah, Antlers often has a beer when he's uh, running Z1R, but I guess not at uh, one in the afternoon. So, so that's what his uh, file names are about. Um, but uh, uh, so, uh, I'm a sock. I'm a sock. Picked his loser's remorse flag uh, to uh, turn off hidden dungeon numbers. So we will definitely be seeing numbers when we enter dungeons in this race, not question marks. Yeah. yeah, that's usually one of those flags that it can hurt a runner, but it can also help them uh, if they can quickly figure out what dungeon they're in. So uh, this should be interesting to see. Yeah, it, it's an annoying flag if it rolls together with shapes. All right, they're starting with the level one Triforce, the Magical Boomerang, and the Power Bracelet. Uh, so le level one Triforce, they at least know, they know which level they don't need because level one Triforce is the same in both quests. But, uh, they don't know much else yet. And having a starting location in the dead woods, uh, sometimes that can be bad, especially if you die in the overworld off in the uh, northeast corner. But uh, looks like Amasak already found the any road. Yeah. Amasak checking the any roads. So it looks like Antlers is going to hit this open cave over here first. And looks like all three any roads took him up to Death Mountain in the grave. I was watching Amstock stream last night briefly. He was doing a practice seed, and he had three out of four any roads in, the, in uh, Death Mountain, too. He's probably thinking, what the hell? <laughs> and over on Antler's side, looks like you found level three already. No. So we know that because one of, there was one of the any roads, we know the power bracelet's not... The power bracelet armos isn't the armos item, and the blue ring shop is not the armos item either. So it's 50 50 that the uh, wood sword cave is going to be vanilla, so I like to get over there pretty quick. I think that's what direction Antlers is heading. Checking caves along the way. Or yeah, the looks like secret. The, the small secret was only four, so we got one rolled way, run, one rolled down, one rolled up. So we money question mark right now. Potion shop at the river. We do not have zero HP enemies because they're not dying to that boomerang. Do we have a sword? We do. And the extra candles flag is off. There was no free candle in that uh, cave. That means there will be no free candles in the uh, take any caves either. So they're going to either need to find the red candle or buy a blue candle. Or finish the seed candle list, which is pretty rare. But <laughs> Tales have been told. <laughs> It looks like we have uh, both players checking out the areas that the other one had already checked out. Mm. And looks like I'm a Sock's going to dive level three. Yeah. We Starting don't know off, for sure it does so look like to be second <laughs> quest one through six, too. Yeah. It looks like a first quest overworld based on what we've seen so far. I haven't seen any second quest spots that open, but we don't know for sure yet. But yeah, that is, does look like a, a second quest three. And looks like he's quickly noping out of there and uh, gonna continue checking the... Yeah, we're taking a death. 
Antlers has a sword, so he may go back to three or he may keep exploring. But usually, like, you find a sword before you dive too deep into the dungeons. Looks like both them are trying to get some uh, early overworld exploration done, so uh, don't blame them on that part, needing seven Triforces to be able to get in. Griyas are squishy and dropping their normal, their, uh, so that their vanilla drop group, so he's getting bombs from them. Antlers is about to find <laughs> the other Angerods right here. And. Yeah, it looks like both of them are doing, uh, East High Rule or West High Rule first, which makes sense if you if you don't have a candle. Yeah, between not having the candle, uh, starting off in the dead woods, and just wanting to get yeah. bulked up a little bit, it uh, definitely helps to stay closed at the early game. Yeah, particularly because the, the Annie Rose didn't <laughs> didn't take them anywhere east at all, so no one has been east of the start screen yet. Yeah. Antler saving back to start. I have a feeling. Yeah, it looks like he's about to join Imasok back in uh, level three. So they they did things in different order, but they're basically effectively routing the same. They've... Yeah, both have about the same amount uh, taken care of in the overworld, and both in the same room doing a high five in level three. Yeah. That's an interesting place for the Triforce to light up because uh, sometimes it can be tricky to get over to that tail of the L in Second Quest 3. Sometimes it's a key door or something. It has zero keys, of course, because the siege just started. With this being second quest for uh, at least levels one through six, uh, unfortunately, they're not going to find a lot of keys. Yeah. Looks like they're both key blocked out of three, so uh, they're both gonna nope out and continue exploring. Yeah. It's like both the top couple rooms and those rooms at the bottom are key blocked. And they didn't get any key drops to uh, get them through them. Yeah, they were both hoping for a key on that Dodongo, but uh, unfortunately, you gave them both the map at the same time. Antlers buys a candle. That's, I, th I think that's a substantive lead for now because he. I think Imasak has seen that, but he hasn't. He didn't have enough money for it at the time, so he might make his way back up there when he can. Yeah, it's something that I. Uh, even if he's not doing it now, it'll definitely be in the back of his mind until he can get up there, and uh, that'll definitely open up a lot more areas for him to
Ravisaw gets his candle. Not too far behind on exploration. They're pretty much shadowing each other for now. Still only found one level, still only, uh... An interesting move on Inosox's part, instead of, uh, doing an up A and going back into the Deadwoods to hurry up and clear those spots, looks like he's gonna get into yeah, a little bit yeah. of Death Mountain half and seven bombs. Yeah, a couple things up here he hadn't checked, so... I don't know if he's... I want, yeah, I wonder if he's gonna keep digging Death Mountain or just, uh, just these few... I guess the any rose eliminated the any rose eliminated some of the bomb holes, so he he could he probably has enough bombs to you know clear out the whole area right now. But he died, so that, if that was his plan, I think he'd probably just change. And Antlers found a quick level nine and level four in uh, Campbell Row there. Yeah. We do have dungeon pal pallets shuffled, which uh, but with the which matters less with the. Uh, hidden level numbers turned off but it's interesting because people almost always play with uh, shuffle dungeon pallets but in this tournament it's 50 50 so uh, so it's notable um, but this is going to be a second quest level for the great big uh, D shape with two basement items um, often uh, it's usually a pretty a beast of a dig and often fruitful because of uh how item dense it is, so we'll see if it pays off for antlers. Yeah, I always like to compare second quest four to first quest level eight. Um, yeah, it's not yeah. too big of a dungeon. It can be a long grind, but it many times can be worth. Antlers, the world record holder in second quest, low percent of the vanilla speed run. He had spent plenty of time in uh, second quest level four with, with the wood sword. And I'm a suck in level eight. Found the compass. Uh, it appears it's definitely not a uh, second quest, but. Hard to say if it's first quest or if it's shapes, right? Yeah, I haven't been looking at his screen enough to tell at all. It's first quest. First quest, that's uh, good news for level 7 and 8, bad news for level 9. found the flute in level 4 is one of the uh, basement items. Yeah, the recorder can be pretty powerful with these flags because it's random whether it goes to uh, unbeaten dungeons or beaten dungeons or uh, and it's random whether it goes to the new dungeons, meaning the dungeons in the randomizer or the vanilla first quest spots as it does in both first and second quests in the vanilla game. And uh, so probably want to go outside and use that before too long because if it takes you if it's recorded unbeaten then he can he can go you know two three eight four five six and uh bang them all out without uh doing much more walking if it's recorded beaten dungeons of course it'll only take him one place another good thing to have the recorder for uh is if it's mixed or second quest overworld uh it definitely opens up a lot of spaces for the runners to be able yes. to check. Yeah, and um, we don't, I don't think we've confirmed the overworld quest. We know it's not second, and we know it's not straight second, because we've seen uh, first quest level three, but um, the uh, overworld screen, if it's straight second, that overworld screen's different, but we haven't seen uh, we haven't seen first quest level two, which is always a lake in mixed quest. Yeah, and it seems like with these flags, more often than not, you either have a second quest mixed or a first quest mixed on the overworld. 
No. I haven't. I also haven't seen any of the second quest spots open or any of the first quest spots not open, but um, it's still early. I'm trying to figure out the Rip Bubble curse here on Antler's side. Uh, looks to be swordless. Yeah, I'm thinking swordless. Because he's... He didn't veer off in the wrong direction, so probably not reverse controls, and uh, he didn't slow down, so it's not that. But he did, he did stop stabbing and try to chase the blue bubble down, so probably swordless, same as Vanilla's second quest, which is, I think, the most friendly of the possible uh, bubble curses in most cases, depending on what else is happening in the dungeon. Absolutely, because uh, <laughs> when you have the reverse controls, uh, sometimes you have to go. A long time having your controls reversed and the worst part about it is when you get back to normal you hit that blue bubble or you uh, yeah i don't know about you it doesn't even have to be a long a long time for me my my, my, my controls are reversed for 30 seconds i get uh I, I get confused when they get on reverse now uh now that's interesting i'm a sock just saw a magical shield in the basement of level eight that means that this is a boomstick seed the uh book the book is going to uh make the wand shoot uh uh, shoot uh, bomb explosions, and it has been uh, shuffled with. Uh, it's been uh, shuffled into a shop and, repla and replaced with the magical shield in the dungeon. So that's may or may not come into play. Just saw a heart in the basement, so we're not on. Uh, and we, we we know the items are shuffled. It's fifty fifty whether they are, but uh, they're not showing up in their vanilla dungeons. So we know that. We don't uh, we don't know where things are going to be. Even though the magical shield would swap with the book in first quest level eight, but it, that's just a coincidence. And also, uh, not hundred percent sure yet, but it looks like the heart shuffle is on too. Uh, with antlers finding the heart in the basement in level yeah. four. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it could it, that could be the coast heart. Um, until we see the coast, I don't know, we know for sure. But yeah, one one heart in the basement, you immediately start worrying about our shuffle, even though that's not guaranteed. But it is interesting they both uh, they both started out with uh, the two basement dungeons. Although Sock leaving level eight, did he get the Triforce in there? I didn't see. I didn't see either, but I know he was close to it, so I would assume he, he got it. Well, it was lit up. I don't know if chat can help us out. Um, he didn't. He did not get it. I wonder. He may, was he key blocked or out of it or something? I don't know. Oh, he died one room away. That hurts because it was pretty deep in there. I mean, he's thinking I'll yeah, go back. I'll go back in there when I'm not so underpowered. Speaking of underpowered, <laughs> Antler's taking a death to that Patra. Sucking up and out of level eight. Uh, looks like he's gonna continue finishing uh, checking his Death Mountain. Mm -hmm. Replace white sword and bomb and uh, magical sword. With bomb upgrades, flag is on. That's an interesting flag in this tournament because obviously it was designed for swordless, which is not, which is turned off at least in, in this stage of the tournament. But uh, there will be no white sword and no magical sword in this seed, and uh, we don't actually know whether the uh, item. Uh, I mean, we know that the whites. We, we don't actually know whether the uh, bomb upgrade uh, I'm a sock just saw is the white sword or magical sword because he didn't have. He only had four hearts, so he didn't bother to check it. Yeah, he did uh, 
yeah. check to see if he could get it. Well, right, I don't want to be just like, it could be, if, if it's magical sword, it could be five or six, but if, or if it's white sword, it could be five or six, but, or it could be just magical sword and be many more. So we don't know. If, um, yeah, if this be in uh, first quest level nine, I'm sure at some point he's going to go back up and check there to see if he can get it. Yeah. I'm stuck finds uh, level five at the uh, money making game cave near start. Diving in to take a look. We got a dig dogger. He does not have the recorder that Antlers has out of four. down to have a heart and finds a Patra. He's giving it a go. Not a uh, low HP Patra either. Wow, he got him. <laughs> Antlers did an amazing job putting yeah, his, that out. It's hard not to get hit by those things. Yeah, his combat is just a joy to watch. Imasak gets the silver arrows in uh, level five. Now Ganon may or may not be required, but uh, but if Ganon is required, obviously that's a huge find and uh, kind of unusual because it's uh, it's more than 50-50 because. It's, more than one flag effect that the silver arrows will be in uh, wow, will be in uh, in level nine, and let's see, they are not because it's fifty fifty that red ring and silver arrows will be forced to nine, and it's fifty fifty that items will be unshuffled. So neither of those things uh, were turned on for this seed, or were turned. You know what I mean. Suck taking a quick death between that uh, Gria and uh, Lionel there. So, with the silver arrows being outside of level 9, that raises the question on whether important items in 9 is on. Because, uh, Normally, you can't have the bow or the raft or the ladder or the power bracelet inside level 9, but that flag's 50-50 in this tournament, so we'll see. It's always fun seeing a seed where you have to double, double dip, dip 9. Dip. Yeah. <laughs> And with Sock now on level 4, it'll be interesting to see if he's going to spend as much time as Antlers did uh, digging this level, which Antlers just found the trap force for. Yeah, so Antlers saw... He saw the, it got the recorder out of the basement there, I think. Was was he the one that saw the heart in the basement, or was that stock in level 8? I don't remember. That was Antlers. Okay, so... So, I don't know if he saw the floor item as well, but he, yeah, he mostly cleared that floor, if not full, so we'll see. If, but that was not an easy level four. I mean, Antlers, Antlers has first-rate combat and made it look easy. It's going to be a real challenge for Sock to do that in, in with any close to the speed that Antlers did, so I don't know how long he's going to spend here wood sorting Patras. And even with how good uh, Antler's combat is, he still spent nearly 15 minutes in that level. Yeah. So that's a testament yeah. to how difficult it was. 
second, we was up here checking the forgotten spot and just found a seat. Antlers, uh, the first one getting into the forest to start checking, uh, finally making his way to the east. I didn't see what he started with, but, uh, was door repair charge maximum? Um, I didn't see. I wanted to say he was maxed out on his uh, rupees, and now he's down to 230 on that one. Right, we got a. That recorder's going to. Uh, uh, I think it's unbeaten, but, but not new dungeons. Because he landed in it. Yep, unbeaten vanilla. Yeah. But wait, that took him to one. I'm confused now. No, it's it's on it's beaten vanilla because the level four, the second quest level four triforce takes you to the first quest level five screen. So so one and so the level one and first quest level five screens are the only screens he can whistle to right now. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. That's that's always a tough one to keep yeah. track of. Yeah. Yeah, this, the way the Triforces are swapped in the second quest is confusing. And it makes a certain amount of sense because the the level 7 and level 4 Triforces give you the whistle locations that are right next to them. But And if and if they were switched, then you could get the level 4 Triforce and then get to level 5 without the wrap. But it is super confusing. And even for experienced runners, to keep track of where they're headed with that. I just play a guessing game and whistle until I get where I need to be. Uh, Antlers found another forest and I uh, was not able to pick it up with six hearts, so the bomb upgrade in Death Mountain is the white sword item. Alright, so we got two bomb upgrades in Bolton Caves. Stock taking yes. another death in a room adjacent to a Triforce. He's and he's noping out again. So he's. I don't blame him on that. That's some difficult combat in that level. Yeah, yeah. When you have the compass in a in a in a dungeon where you're just getting owned, it's 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 often a good move to just leave and come back when you're stronger. What was on the coast? Did you see? Did you see? Uh, looked like it was the heart. Yeah. It went by so quick I missed it. So that means Heart Shuffle definitely is on in this. 
quest. Yeah. If we've seen a car on the coast and a heart in the basement, it's got to be our shovel. And <laughs> given the combat we've seen, that could uh, that could mean the bow is under something nasty. Speaking yeah, of the bow, handlers buying wood far. arrows, which were a li little on the expensive side, not too bad, but uh, but when he does find his bow, he'll be able to fire it. And with uh, with no uh, magical sword or white sword, it's the uh, DPS upgrade with arrows would be welcome. And even though there'd be an upgrade with that, uh, it is an interesting move to buy the wood arrows at this point, uh, especially knowing that this is possibly a boomstick seed, uh, wanting to... Well, Antler doesn't idea. know that, though. Ant it was Imasak that saw the magical shield in, it, in, in A. That's and it was, right. And uh, Antler's... Uh, and it was Imasak that got the silver arrows, so Antler has no idea. For all Antler knows, there's, th there's a 50-50... Uh, the silvers are in nine, so uh, you know, the, there's a better, the better than even odds of it. So statistically, it's a good play. Antlers finds the raft under the Armos. He also saw the uh, f uh, vanilla second quest, uh, or vanilla first quest level two screen, confirming that this is a straight first quest overworld. So he, Ooh, that's a nasty uh, large secret. There are only seventy-seven. Yeah, but knowing that it being a first quest overworld, at least there will be three of large secrets. Because with second quest overworld, there's only one large secret, and with mixed, it could be either. There's mixed first and mixed second. Yep. So, so Antler's putting that uh, raft to work right away and finding nothing. Masak gets a look at that heart on the coast. finding level 2 over in the Lost Hill. So this will be the A. We got a two-headed Gliok, just like in vanilla second quest level two. Although not in the same room. Oop. Oof. <laughs> Doing a good job of dodging the fireballs. Yeah. <laughs> and he takes a death anyway, though. That's the kind of thing that I leave select swap off for. But I know Antlers always runs with select swap, so he can't he can't pause buffer on that. We'll go right in, right back in for round two. Yeah, this time starting off with three hearts, so should have a little bit easier time with it.
looks like Amasak is not far behind, uh, going to be heading up to level 2 here momentarily. Got antlers getting unlucky spawns here in the shoot room, so I decide to just go around it. Yeah, in the uh, in the vanilla game, that shoot room has a has a key on the left. In that case, it had uh, the key had uh, randomized to being carried by a gibdo, but the gibdo wasn't coming to the middle of the shoot, and with no beams, can't clear the room for it to open the shutter. Alright, Masak takes another death, but he's he's back in level two. He, he's in level two with uh, we're uh, exploring the same dungeon again. Did a good job on round two against that man Hamla, and now he's gonna find the unfortunate news about the Gliok in the next room. Uh, I'm Masak taking a pass on it. Antlers didn't get anything from Gliok, so uh, it, it's funny just. Sometimes, sometimes the more skilled player pays a price for being able to, for being willing to take on those fights, whereas other people will just bypass them if they if they turn out not to be important, they just end up being a waste of time. It's just, I mean, <laughs> I mean, ninety nine percent of the time you'd rather have be the player with the better combat, but sometimes it just works out that way. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, I'm about fifty fifty on taking that chance and. Uh... More often than not, I end up paying the price with uh, with taking a lot of deaths instead of, you know, getting through and completing it, finding out there's nothing in there. Antlers finds the uh, the wand on the uh, floor in level two. That floor drop was in the uh, in the level two Gliok room. Um, our Triforces uh, have Triforces all been in Triforce rooms too. That might, that might mean uh, uh, untroubled item drops. Power bracelet in the basement. They already started with the power bracelet, so it doesn't really help them. That wand is, with no white sword out there, that wand is the next best thing. So that's a big deal. Let's see if Imasak makes his way to it. And, it was just, and the, yeah. the, dro the drop room was just a coincidence, because the Triforce is not in a, uh, it's not in that, it's not in the Triforce room. Um, now Imasak is clearing that room with the Triforce. Let's see if he grabs it and goes, or if he keeps digging and finds the wand. Looks like he's gonna keep digging. Yeah. And the good old randomizer function of finding the compass one room after finding the trifor. Yep. <laughs> Suck playing it safe here, uh, block clipping in, uh, in this diagonal room, it's really tough to fight the dark ones. So, uh, yeah. smart move, getting into that block and just, uh, taking his time, waiting for them to come by. Yeah, it's, unfortunately, the best he's gonna do here is a, is a key. He does, which, 
won't be unwelcome, but it's going to take a while to clear the room, especially with the strats. So, uh, meanwhile, Antlers is still flying. He's uh, in level seven now. All right, we got woods ropes. Block pure apparently useless. Just go. Yeah, it looks like there should be a workaround to it. Now, with bait not required, unless I don't think uh, it could be required in. Three, although I don't remember for sure. I think the Triforce was in a place where it couldn't be bait blocked for three, but I'm not I'm not positive about that. But if I'm right, and Antlers has the wand and 200 rupees, he uh, I don't think he's seen the book in the shop. And I know Imasak was the one that saw the magical shield, but if he does come across that book in the shop, we could see some explosions. And uh, there is still a potential for bait block in three, uh, only if it's in that for the southeast. Right. I I can't remember if the Triforce was lighting up the southeast or the or the room. I think I think you're right. If the bait if the bait were in the far southeast room, then the Triforce is right above it. But we were key block and we couldn't bomb into it. So. so it and the other two rooms we were key blocked out of, so we, and we never saw the day. So it is possible, so. Oh, Antlers buys a bomb upgrade. Next best thing to the boomstick that he is unaware is in the city. <laughs> Looks like Sock is starting to close in on that uh, wand, as long as he can get that shoot room cleared out. Suck has cleared out most of level two so far, so uh, just a matter of time before he ends up finding that floor drop wand, uh, which will be very welcome to him. Absolutely. It's the only room he has not cleared yet, too. It's interesting seeing bomb holes in seven. Is this a first quest seven that he's in? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay. So we, so that means it's going to be a first quest nine, which uh, means a lot of bombs, a lot of keys are going to be needed. Second quest, little dungeons mean key starved. That could come into play. All right, socks in the room. As long as he doesn't die by killing these dark nuts, he's got his wand. Bang! Doing bang. a good job of bombing those dark nuts too. And sock has seen the magical shield in a basement, so he knows somewhere out there. Uh, is a boomstick that he could probably afford, so it's got to be on his mind.
Sokka isn't that far behind. He has seen... He has compasses from 8 and 4, so even though he didn't pick up the 4 Triforce, once he's comfortable uh, going back there, he, he'll, he'll, he'll know the way to go. And... Uh, and he's and antlers hasn't been an eight at all i don't believe so he has that exploration advantage and he's into seven not that far behind antlers so full race yeah, this level seven is uh becoming pretty large dig for antlers so uh be interesting to see if sock will end up being able to be more efficient with it Yeah, first quest level seven is so random because you can bomb in every direction, you can explore in every direction, and there could be a whole section that you need to find a staircase to get to. So uh, we could be in, we could be here a while. Question chat. Well, they only started with one Triforce piece, so they do need the Triforce out of here at minimum. But, uh, and, uh, there's a 50 50 chance Ganon's required, which means they need the Silver Arrows and the, and the Bow. So, and, uh, you usually need the ladder, not always, but usually to get through other dungeons. So, yeah, it's worth digging. Uh, Trails, uh, has the recorder been checked out? Uh, yes, it was going to, uh, vanilla unbeaten spots so the uh or vanilla beaten spots so antlers could get to uh vanilla level one and uh vanilla first quest level five with the second quest level four at drive force and presumably now that he has level two he'll be able to get to uh the first quest level three screen but um it's not going to unbeaten dungeons so it's not as powerful as it can be in this uh flag set extra bosses flag uh, went to the maximum on this because I feel like every other room in these dungeons they've had a boss there's certainly been some tough combat either way a lot of wizard ropes a lot of dark nuts and that's I, never fun when you know you can't get the uh, I, I'm a sock op I, I'm a sock opting to take that bomb upgrade uh He's in seven now, so uh, yeah, you'd have. He hasn't seen the book in the shop, even though he's seen the magical shield, so he doesn't know where to go to get the boomstick. So I guess he's feels a, a bomb upgrade in the hand is worth more than is worth more now than the possibility of say, hanging out of that money. Yeah, and uh, with how much of the overworld's been explored already, uh, I'm starting to feel that the boomstick is definitely in the rare shop, so there's only yeah, going to be one yeah. spot they can find it. Socks map when he paused uh, definitely just has the top couple rows left, and uh, that's where Antlers is at now. So uh, we still haven't found either of the uh, items in here or the Triforce, so it's all going to be in that top couple rows. Yeah, 
Let's grab the compass. Ooh, I must like taking another dough. has the bomb hole into the Triforce room. How much more of the seven does he want to dig? He's been here a while already. Uh, looks like he's definitely going to check out this, the Dongo room to see if there's item in here. And does have a push plug, so... It's, it's transport. See, and it's transport. Ooh, that's interesting. Because, uh... Antlers has the recorder, Imasok does not, so when Imasok finds this compass, he's going to not be able to get uh, a Triforce here. That is, that's going to be heartbreaking for him when he comes upon it shortly. Yeah, especially with how much of this level 7 has to be dug out. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a heartbreaker. <laughs> but he is grabbing the compass, so he should find out fairly quickly, so we'll see if he continues to try to find the items or if he nopes out. There's the boomstick for 213 right next door. into level 8 now. And should be able to dig this out uh, much easier than Sock was able to earlier. Uh, much more well equipped, got a lot more life, has the wand, uh, got the bomb upgrade, so this should be a lot quicker for him than it was for Sock earlier. Yeah, for sure. Sock, man, these dongos are trolling him like crazy. Yeah, they do that. Here comes the bad news. Quarter block Triforce, which Amazon cannot get. So it looks like he's going to keep digging. Well, he's making a decision. He's done a lot of this, and uh, the stuff he hasn't done is kind of in the corner, so it might make sense to uh, to just finish it off now. Yeah, it's a good call. And uh, he, it does have a diamond staircase room, so we'll see if this is the other side of the transport or if it's the item. Definitely playing it safe here with only half a heart, uh, trying to keep respawning the uh, ropes in that room. And looks like he's going to try for this clock, which... Just a hard container yeah. in the basement. So now the question will be if he decides to finish digging for the floor item, too. Oh, he's gonna. Yeah, he, he might go, he might go oh, back. To... Every time I talk, it feeds back from your from your end. So <laughs> one at a time, I guess. Um, it looks like I, I'm guessing he's gonna go back to the staircase he saw and try that. Maybe, maybe not. Now he's leaving. And decided against it. So no doubt, and I'm uh, gonna continue to try to find the record.
And now he's probably wishing he did not buy the bomb upgrade because yep. it's the first screen <laughs> yeah. outside. He... <laughs> I, I, Sock has to be feeling like the game's playing a series of cruel pranks on him right now, which is just sometimes how it goes with randomizer. <laughs> Feels like every decision you get you make gets immediately punished. Yeah, no, most racers we've been there quite a few times, and uh, I know it's got to be what he's feeling right now. Oh, but he finds a large secret, will he? It's still, uh, I think, 12 rupees short for the boomstick, but he does know where it is if he finds a little bit more money. But he also yeah, has a bomb upgrade at this point, so who knows if he wants to bother. Well, he can afford it now if he wants to. Let's see. And it looks like he's going to be making a beeline right over to it. I probably would. The boomstick is so powerful. Oh, but maybe not. Maybe not. Actually, where is he going? Because... I'm not sure. I don't think there's anything over here worthwhile. I wonder if he forgot which cave he saw it in. Could be. Or if he just wanted to buy keys. Nah, he forgot which cave he saw it in. Fury, our restreamer, saying in chat, because he can see I'm a Sox personal tracker, he's saying he thinks based on the way he tracked it, he knows by process of elimination which cave it's in now. So, let's see if he goes back there. Antler's picking up that uh, uh, white sword bomb upgrade and uh, doing Death Mountain now. I'm a Sox heading back into level three. Looks like he's deciding whether to dig it or to go right for the Triforce, but he's deciding to dig it. Yeah, there are only like four rooms left other than the Triforce rooms, so not a terrible decision. And nah, we do know that hard level. Hard, yeah, we know how, how that hard travels on, so it could be something. Since he has the silver arrows, even if Ganon's not required, the bow is a big uh, offense upgrade. The, the ladder. Oh, but that's nice. Find the ladder. Finally, a break for Sock. He's had a lot of bad breaks in this. And the bait block's up here, so the Triforce is not going to be bait blocked. <laughs> and it looks like the uh, other uh, floor drop in here is either going to be in the northwest corner on the other side of the staircase or in the southeast corner. Yeah. Ooh. And probably a wise 
wise decision milking out of going through that staircase. <laughs> yeah, I mean, even if he even if he wants to dig it, he might. I'd take the triforce to the refill first, which is exactly what he's doing. He's going back in. Antlers, meanwhile, in level six, getting the triforce. Almost making it, but then getting sniped by that whiz robe. <laughs> this room. <laughs> and it's so close to the start, it's really easy to be stubborn on that room. Too. Yeah, he looks like he's taking a pass now. It's, um... You know what he could do is just he could come back there with the boomstick. The room wouldn't be quite so bad. But that's clear across the the world. Let's see if he's uh, gonna head that way. Trolled by the fairy. <laughs> yeah, they're not on our side. <laughs> Antler's making his way to the other raft spot. Neither of the raft spots were anything. Uh, yes, trails. We've only seen it in one shot. seen a lot of this overworld. Antlers in level 5. Assuming he the uh, silver arrows were in the basement. So we'll see if Antlers uh, pretty close to the The silvers. Yeah, I've seen the the boomstick book roll into more than one shop quite, uh, quite a few times. I don't know how that works. I think it's rare shop by default, but somehow, uh, but somehow that changes. I don't I don't understand the interaction of the flags, but yeah, with uh, so many different possibility combinations, uh, I think it can end up putting it into a common shop. Yeah. And that, it's one of the, the interesting thing about this tournament. There are so many weird combinations of flags that no matter how experienced a randomizer player is, there's probably at least one thing about it you don't quite understand. Yeah, I, I think uh, probably half to two-thirds of the seeds I've played, I've had something that just makes me go, what? Yeah, I, I, had, a, I had a practice seed where... Uh, one through six rolled shapes and uh and uh seven through nine uh rolled uh rolled second quest and uh the items were unshuffled and i was like wait a second where's the wand gonna be is it gonna be in six or is it gonna be in uh eight and it turned out it was in eight but uh, like i i had i just abandoned all pretense of finishing it because i had to know the answer to that question Sock made it back <laughs> to the boomstick shop and was one rupee short. Oh. And he's getting nothing but life on these drops, too. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, and the other item in five was the any key. That is a huge find for antlers. Yeah, it is. I'm a sock currently sitting at zero keys. And I think the last time he went through, he was key blocked from uh, being able to explore anymore in five. 
And his luck finally gets his 213th rupee, quite far away from the shop where he wants to spend it. And after all that, he finds another quick five rupees. Well, that was the that was the force on ten because he killed so many things. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Alright, boomstick in play. See. Say again? Sorry about that. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see now, because uh, even though Amasak appears to be well behind, uh, he has the boomstick and the ladder. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Antlers, he has all but one Triforce, it's a quick one in three, and he's going to be diving nine, but then again, neither runner has found the boat, and if, uh, if Ganon's required, that could be a game changer. Yeah. We shall see. Antler's getting that quick, uh level 3 Triforce. Let's see if he goes back in to try to find more items. Uh, possibly find that level. Nope, he's uh, beelining to 9. I don't remember where 9 was. But I assume we've seen it by now. Since uh, yeah, before. I think it was pretty close to uh, Candle Row or in Candle Row. is in nine so we're gonna be looking for a few things uh first and foremost we're gonna be looking to try to find the princess uh if there's a shutter door that doesn't open after the room is cleared that's gonna mean we have a ganon required seed uh, and if that's the case with neither runner having found the bow yet uh that could be a big deal uh trying to find that bow if not she could be through a push, uh, push wall, bomb hole, key, standard shutter, or just an open door. So we're going to be looking to find that. And we're also going to be listening for the roar of Ganon so we know where he's at. And we should say, uh, cons do not have audio, so if you hear the roar of Ganon in chat, please tell us. Alright, Antler's finding the red... <laughs> That's funny, the red rings in nine, but the silvers aren't. Yeah, it's like it got halfway shuffled. <laughs> Another big thing we can see in this uh, level 9-2 is there's pretty good potential for a ladder block, and Antlers does not have that ladder out of three. Freedom, uh, answer question. freedom fighter. Question. Go ahead. Go ahead, John. Oh, yeah, I was just going to say exactly the same thing you were about to say. But, uh, yeah, the um, important items in 9 is a uh, flag that's 50-50. So the bow could be a 9, but it uh, but it could also not be a 9. If import Usually it can't be. If important items are a 9, it can be. And uh, that flag's 50-50. So, yes, but... <laughs> Fury saying uh, he thinks it's the roar, uh, but looks like it was just a. T yeah. <laughs> and we saw a Zelda room, which means that Ganon and Zelda are not in their own rooms. That's another flag that can be 50 50. If you see Ganon in his own room, you often start to think, I'm probably only going to be able to get to Zelda from the south. But since we've seen the Zelda room without Zelda in it, she could be in any room. And that can open up a lot of possibilities, too. And that, that Chevy may be blocking off a whole section of nine, we'll see.
Um, yes, uh, second quest one has uh, a floor drop plus a heart. Heart shovels on, so up to two, up to two floor items. I was that, that might have been a Y force there because we they started with the level one Triforce, so the only reason Sock would be in there was for uh, items. But I guess he gave, maybe he just gave up on digging it. Yeah, it looks like it was just to give up on that. Uh, yes, we saw we saw the bait block, and there they, there was a way around it. Oh, it was double hard in level one. He got the move. Got it. So he was done there. Okay, I missed both of them. Yeah, me too. Alright, Sock going back to three with his boomstick to uh, take on this hell room. And Antlers is done. Well, we had uh, no Ganon required. GG's to Antler. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a sock has forfeited and says in the IRC, GG, what a joke, lol. For see if the runners are gonna join us in chat. Uh, looks I'm like a soccer declining. 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 Yeah. <laughs> and with that, uh being game two, uh, Antler's winning both. He will now advance to the second round of the winner's bracket. Uh, I'm a suck, or Antler's. I'm not sure who either of them will be playing. I don't have the bracket pulled up. Yeah. Antler's uh, joining us. GG, sir. Not getting audio from you. Hey, can you hear me? Yeah. Sorry about that. I forgot I had to push the clock on. Um, yeah, that was <laughs> that was a difficult combat scene. No two ways about it. That was that was rough. Yeah, it, the combat was hard, which which favors you in the first place. Also, you, you saw I'm a sock saying it. He doesn't want to join us because he doesn't have anything constructive to say. Not only did he have trouble with the combat, he got trolled in some ridiculous ways in this seed. Like. Like he's he bought the bomb upgrade and then saw the boomstick on the next screen, the boomstick book on the next screen, and he'd seen the magical shield in the basement, so he knew it was a boomstick seed. And oh, then he no. and then he got money back, looped back there, was one rupee short for the boomstick, and took and and just killed everything and kept getting hearts. And I, I you could see the frustration. You didn't need the mic on to know what he was saying. Um, uh, how was the how was the seed for you? How was the seed for you? Um, I was getting frustrated um, in some of the dungeons, like uh, 4 and 7 were extremely frustrating. Yeah, I mean, I you know how good you are, but you also I know you also hold yourself to high standards and get very mad at yourself when you make little mistakes, and I'm sure <laughs> every death hurts. Yeah, and it's like <clears throat> so many possible drop rooms in level 7 were... Uh, blue wizard robes and i was trying to um do the double stab um with the wand and the sword to kill the uh Zals to you know to try and despawn some of the wizard robes but uh i just couldn't get it like it the animation was i i think you you know you've probably seen like the animation was working but it wasn't actually giving me the uh the double stab 
damage that happens sometimes for some reason that I, that just kept happening to me i was getting so mad <laughs> yeah i mean that that a plus b is tough and it's a it, it's a frame perfect thing i think so i'm not good at it <laughs> um yeah it was uh and then level four um just patra every other room so that was that was nice i think i killed like three of them with the wood sword and a couple of them had turrets in the room with them, so that was. Yeah, it feels like this seed. Uh, you guys definitely had the uh, extra bosses turned up to the maximum on it. The uh, the expanding patch was actually rolled down a little bit, but the uh, the vortex patch was definitely rolled up. Yeah, and you and you took one of them out on wood sword with half a heart which is always a pleasure to see <laughs> yeah no that was i mean i enjoy fighting patras but you know one a dungeon is enough <laughs> but uh but yeah i was i was actually really um worried so i i found zelda's room up in the top right of nine and um I just walked up instinctively. I thought it was over and <laughs> she just wasn't there. And uh, at first it was kind of like shock. It's like, wait, what? And then, <laughs> and then it was um, disappointment. And then it was annoyance because it was level or it was first quest nine. And that means that you can approach Zelda's room from any direction. Yeah. So we were that, talking about that on comms. <laughs> <laughs> that makes it a lot harder to pinpoint where she is and like, you know, takes away some of the necessary, like the, some of the routing that can help you uh, deduce where she is. It's just kind of like all bets are off at that point. Well, uh, any final thoughts before we uh, should look up what races we have coming up and then uh, call it? Um, just, uh, Thanks again to you guys for uh, commentating and any whoever was tracking and to Fury for doing the restream. I know that uh, I know that it's really cramped in the first round of any tournament, so I always appreciate um, uh, any time they can get us on a restream. Fury and I were kind of dividing tracking duties because we didn't have a tracker. So sure. Well, thank yeah. you guys very much yeah. for that. Um, and thanks to Imasak. Imasak's a really good player. It sounds like he kind of got some rough luck. Um, but uh, but I'm definitely pulling for him in the next round, and I think he's got a really good shot to to make some noise in the uh, in the loser's bracket. All right. Uh, coming up on Random Mania 3, about a half hour from now, uh, the Alan Hefley uh, versus Bogey Smalls in Game 1 at... Uh, five o'clock on Speed Gaming Two. We got uh, Zarnax Forty Two versus uh, CD and Prov in their game one. Uh, then, uh, then uh, later tonight we got uh, Game Two of Seafill versus Fry Teeth. Nine Teeth Game One of Eat My Steel versus X Russian Bishop. Game One on a Saber versus Chester. Game One of Lack Attack versus Dr Uke Fireberg. Game and One of Catastrophe versus Raker Rider. Game Three e of Truant Gamer versus Random Effect, which should be a really exciting one. Uh, uh, and then and then uh, Saber and Chester are doing two back to back. Then Magic Friends are doing. Uh, no, that's tomorrow. Okay, so we have a lot of uh, a lot of um, uh, Z1R races coming up on Randomania and Speed Gaming channels. Uh, so uh, be on Twitch all all day. You're not going outside. You don't have anything to do. So yeah, uh, social distancing exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it would what, be what better do you have to it, do. It would be civically irresponsible to do anything other than watch randomizer races all day today. So exactly, <laughs> dude. I, I know that's what I'm going to be doing. Yeah. <laughs> um, so for now, we'll uh, we'll uh, call it a day, and uh, we will see you very very soon. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Antlers. GG, and good luck to everybody in the tournament, and good day to everybody on Randomania. <laughs>